Attention today in PA listeners. Don't miss the President's Day window special at Renewal by Anderson of Central PA. Buy one window or door, get one window or door at 40% off and take an additional $200 off your project. Plus $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest for one year. Sale ends February 28th, 2023. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, go to rbacentralpadeals.com. That's rbacentralpadeals.com. A number of state politicians are currently embroiled in a battle over a conference room. In Allegheny County, officials have revealed a pilot program they hope will help to combat homelessness. Dorney Park has plans for a new 160-plus foot attraction. Plus, here's the top question other Americans have about Pennsylvania. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. There's a heated battle going on in Pennsylvanian politics right now, reports Penn Live, over a state capitol building conference room. Or, to be more precise, the video conferencing equipment in that room. According to documents obtained through a public records request, the GOP caucus spent over $100,000 for the room's improvements over the past 12 years with their portion of taxpayer money, lending to the Republicans' belief the equipment is rightfully theirs. House Speaker Mark Rossi, however, claims the space belongs to his office and went so far as to change the locks on the conference room doors without prior notice and after working hours. This has led to an additional gripe as two offices bookend that conference room, barring two officials from getting reportedly sensitive information from them. Says Razi, quote, The rightful ownership of that taxpayer-funded equipment is something that our attorneys are looking into. Allegheny County officials revealed a pilot program this week they hope will help to combat homelessness, reports the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, and at the core of the program is landlords. Called the Allegheny County Housing Navigator Program, landlords will be offered guaranteed rent and support from the County Department of Human Services, plus a sign-on bonus of $2,000 if they provide housing for individuals and families exiting homeless shelters. They'll also have access to up to $3,000 to offset costs associated with damages above the amount of the security deposit or for vacancy loss. Tenants on their end will get supportive services and case managers to help prevent any issues before they arise. Once they're stabilized, case managers may assist them with permanent rental subsidy programs through housing choice vouchers to stay in the same unit. How much has been budgeted for the program wasn't disclosed by officials. Dorney Park has plans for a new 160-plus foot attraction, states the morning call. Although PR manager for the park, Ryan Eldridge, explains it's still too early to discuss when actual construction might begin, what is known is that this attraction will be built on the site where the Stinger roller coaster once stood. The Stinger was removed a few years ago due to a long history of malfunctioning, which included a mechanical failure that left people trapped 80 feet in the air for at least three hours. This new attraction will be discussed at today's South Whitehall Planning Commission meeting. You ever wonder what other people wonder about your state, asks Penn Live. Well, CashNet USA will put your curious mind at ease, as their new study found out just that. Researchers looked into the top questions Americans had for each state apart from theirs, with Pennsylvania's top question being, Why does Pennsylvania have 20 electoral votes? Other people wondered, Why does Hawaii love spam? And why does Florida get so much rain? Outside of the country, people were asking things like, why does Honduras rain fish, as well as, why does Chile hate Maroon 5? Do they? Another day, another episode. For even more news, visit penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to give this podcast a rating on either Apple or Amazon, and to leave it an honest review if you'd like. Thanks ahead of time, and of course, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back for Friday's episode of Today in a PA. Attention Today in PA listeners. Don't miss the President's Day window special at Renewal by Anderson of Central PA. Buy one window or door, get one window or door at 40% off, and take an additional $200 off your project. Plus $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest for one year. Sale ends February 28th, 2023. For more information or to schedule your free window and door diagnosis, go to rbacentralpadeals.com. That's rbacentralpadeals.com.